Please, cows, I've been trying for so long. Just follow me. Please, thank you. Thank you. Just follow me to back to my house so I can make babies and s kill you. I mean, um, make you the king of Minecraft and uh, make you the king and queen and you'll have all your princes and princesses. And uh, I, we're almost there. Just keep on following me, please. And it's been a pain in the butt just to get you all the way over here. Just come on. Don't give up on me now. Yes. We're almost there. No. No, 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 no. Hey. Wheat. I have wheat. I'm gonna give it to you. Come on. Wheat. You want it? Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. We're almost there. Look. Look what I have. Look. Look. You want, you want some, you want some food? You want some food? To take the food. <sighs> oh my god. Alright, look. I'm gonna give you this big pen that you guys can live in. Oh my god, I'm out. Look, both of you guys just hold that thought. I'll, I'll be right back. And uh, I'm gonna grab you some more. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get your house. Your wonderful house that you guys are gonna live in together. Just right here. Right here on the on the water. Yeah. Come on, get in here. Yeah. Come on. In. In. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yes, finally. Okay, hello guys. Hello people of the internet that loves steak. That's right. Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Journey, and uh, we're gonna continue with our uh, adventures here. And uh, we're gonna—I just finally got some cows to agree to get into the pen. It took me lipping forever to get them in there, and uh, now that they're finally in there, I'm so happy. Okay, just want some more wheat so we can feed our cows and. Uh, have them breed, and then I'm gonna kill one of them off, and, uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just gonna breed them right now. If I could... Hey, stay. Okay. Good. There you go. Make a baby. Make a baby. Yay, a baby. Oh, <laughs> yay. <laughs> so... That's gonna be a source of food right there, our steak. What time is it? It's uh, getting late. So, I thought this episode, why not, uh, let's go ahead and just go and go into the nether. Um, the, I know it seems sort of stupid, because we don't even really have anything, but um, I really wanted to do this because I wanted to show you what my ancestors had le left behind for me, so this is sort of like a journey to figure out and learn about my ancient ancestors because they were really good with redstone and I knew that they could build almost anything with redstone and I'm really excited to go see what they have but I won't really have any food and I'm really hungry right now so that would have been bad if I just went in there with no food <sighs> what could we eat what could we eat I think uh, all of our menu is gone because they all died <laughs> from last night's raid um, how they I had gotten attacked and the only thing I could really think about doing is a farm but we need some buckets to make that a bit easier and let's go ahead and grab this replace that we got some more wheat go around our crops so we don't ruin them and oh, we should go grab our uh, the stone hoe, the stone hoe, so we can go ahead and till all our land over here. And once we have that tilled, then we can start really growing some crops and uh, get this sort of underway here. I know, I I think it'll hydrate out to here, right? Am I right? Are you right? Are you wrong? Or am I wrong? Yeah, there we go. That went all the way up to there, so we should be good. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna go to bed really quick, I think, and sleep. Uh, it's about to be nighttime. So, in just a bit here, when we wake up, I'm gonna go get some more, um, 
cobblestone and make some more tools. There we go. See, if you sleep, like, right now, then no monsters can really spawn, and, uh, then you wake up, and there's no monsters. It's really nice. That's why I like these kind of, this kind of stuff, so you can just run to it really quick, go to bed, and just be safe, so. Oh, pig. Perfect. It's exactly what we need right now. Give me a pig. Give me a, I need your poke chop. Your poke chop. I'm actually really surprised that there isn't any food. Or, I mean, not food. Uh, there isn't any iron on the side of this mountain. Oh, nice. Three pork chops. Perfect. Thank you. You will be remembered. Not really. Porky. His name was Wilfred. No pun intended. There's no pun in that. I just, uh, I just referenced a book. Uh, I don't know if you know the book. Most people do. It's a classic. A lot of people know the book. If you don't know the book, I would really recommend to go read it. I'm not even going to say which book it is. I'm just going to leave it a mystery. Because I'm that cool. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm just I'm just always this weird, okay? It's it's fine. Oh, yay. Food. That's great. Let's see if one of our cows have grown up. No. <laughs> no, he hasn't grown up. Okay. Ah, yes. Mmm, nom 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 nom. Mmm, nom 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 noms. Nom 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 nom. So good. That is so good. That is so, so good. Oh, nom noms. Okay. By what I understand, I know that my ancestors have lost- have left a lot in the- uh, for me back here in the nether and we're gonna go check it out in just a second Not gonna be bringing any food wait Never mind. I thought I heard the door close and I was like wait Is there an NPC village? But no, it's just me hearing things again <laughs> From what I understand and all the markings that I found earlier on in um, part of that uh, un overhang that we had found last episode, I found these cool markings, and when I tried to show it on the recording, it just didn't come up. And it was these, this literature stuff that just like told me that something amazing was built in the Nether, and that I would just have to follow the light to get to it. So I'm not sure what that means, but I'm. Um, Pretty sure they made it. They're gonna make it obvious. Okay. <laughs> follow the light. I, I will follow the light. Simple enough. That's a weird glitch. This fire is like a white outline for a second there. Well, if it says to follow the light, I'll follow it. It looks like there's a drop off right here. Oh god. Oh god. Um, okay. We'll use this. I'll use netherrack to be able to get down there. I think we can build a small stairway, right? Starting right here. There's something meant. There's something here meant for me. I just know it. I just feel it. Again, it's weird. I can't explain it. I can just sort of sense it calling to me. If I could somehow get over there without taking too much falling damage, that'd be nice. Right here. Ooh, blazes. Let's not mess with them. Oh god. I don't want to take any damage from them. Okay. Following the light. Oh god. Oh no. This is not safe. Whoa! What is that? That thing, it's so big. It's some kind of machine that... What could it do? Another portal. Huh. I'm wondering. 
Why is it here? And who led me here? It must have been someone I know. Maybe I just woke up one day and they, I didn't know who they were. I don't know. Man. Let's come up here. Check it out. Wow, what is this? Maybe it has something to do with down here. Your pistons going on and off. It has... Maybe it's... Wow. They had to have come here. They had to have. This, there's no way this is randomly generated. Now that he's in here. Wow, I bet I can get him low enough so that I can easily kill him. And just farm him. Awesome. Oh, wow. Some really, really, really nice stuff in here. I'll take that. No, mm -hmm. Thank you very much. This is amazing. This seems to be some kind of farm for blazes. It's quite amazing. Quite remarkable. Nothing in these chests, I don't think. A working blaze farm. That's quite amazing. Should use our new trusty sword to kill him. There we go. I don't know if we can have him spawn because they're so far up there though. I hear a ghast. That's never good. I can't believe that we found this though. It's amazing. So we come up here. We watch them spawn I think. No, I do not want to hurt you Mr. Ghast. Hurting is not good. No, I already told you. I don't want to hurt you. Okay, so they spawn. Then they fall down there somehow, I, I believe. If we have this open, then they'll eventually all get pushed down here. Seems like some of them have a little bit of trouble getting down here. Maybe this is this contraption's a little flawed and I could fix it a bit later. There we go. Takes them just a little bit to fall down into here. Wait, what if all those markings and all that was just me? Ouch! Man, he hit me! He hit me! Ouch, ouch, ouch. This hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Maybe I should I should really look into trying to fix that. That, that really hurts. Okay. What a remarkable machine. Oh no, gas. Taking hits, taking hits. Return fire, return fire. Go! Oh. Wow, skills. Ah, took that right to my face. Darn it. Alright. Well, this could be a great source of XP and blaze rods. I could really use that for, uh, making all my all my potions and strength potions and things. That'll be amazing. What if it wasn't my ancestors though? What if this is just me from before, but I just don't remember? That's gotta be it. It, it wouldn't make any sense. This is a single player world. <sighs> well. It all We'll figure it out someday. It's pretty crazy how this happened. It's amazing. Wow. It's pretty awesome. This it's just so cool. It's really just quite astounding how the different things that you can make in this game. It's just really amazing. Okay, I'm really done. I'm done. I'm done with all this, uh, this story following. I'm, I'm not gonna follow the story anymore. So I went ahead and, uh, I made- I took the liberty to myself 
and uh, went into one of my creative worlds, and I felt the need that I wanted to... I saw a cool design for it. Oop. He just glitched through that block. I saw a cool design for a really nice blaze, like a farm, where I can farm all my blazes and get a lot of XP. Just like this. Get all that XP and really start to pick up XP really quickly. And, uh... <laughs> So, uh, how I made it, I will show you later. It's pretty hard to make. It took me quite a while. And, um, so, to give you the basics of it, they, there's pistons on each of these rings, and it pushes them whenever they hit the pressure plate, so they just get funneled toward the middle, um, toward the middle at, at the end down here. And when they get up to that, as you can see, they sort of have some trouble in the pistons there. But you pull this, and uh, they fall in. You close it, so they don't escape. And you push that to crush them. And stop crushing them, and kill them really quick. And you get all their XP and all their stuff through the hopper. It's really awesome. Quite an amazing machine. I didn't steal the exact design, I um, I just saw the idea of it, um, to be able to push blazes down through that sort of system there, and be able to take all their resources that way, it's really an awesome way to do it, and honestly the quickest way to do it, so they just keep on spawning like that. You Sometimes you have to sort of go up the ladders and then be close enough to the spawner for them to actually spawn, so as you can see my my version of this is a little flawed but that's okay cuz i'm not perfect and really quite an amazing machine so i'll um see you guys in a second uh when i'm done sort of farming here for xp and then um oh gas Oh no! The glass! You're breaking the glass! Move, move, move! Oh no! Ah. The structure, you have to defend the structure! Oh no! Ooh! Slightly missed the portal there, that would have been bad. Or maybe I should take the other portal back home. Ah, I've just decided. I'm gonna go back home. I don't need XP. I don't even have an enchantment book yet. An enchanting table, I meant. So, I will uh, see you guys in just a bit when I'm back home. Alright, we're almost home. <sighs> Hopefully we can get in bed with- Oh my god. Let's go to bed before they notice me. Don't notice me. Okay, whatever. <laughs> a, f a witch. Really, this is cool. Um... Don't kill me, please. Are they gonna kill me? Is it? Is it gonna kill me? Should I kill it? Are they really strong? Oh, I'll just use a swiftness potion. Hello! It's attacking me with potions! Oh my god! Get away from me! I put away my weapons. What was I thinking? Slowness? No, 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 no. Ow! Quit it! No, put away your potions. Okay. Ugh, weird. Glowstone dust and redstone. Okay. That was really weird. Almost died though. Whew. Weird. That is that is really odd. That's that's never happened to me. Just a random um thing came out and attacked me. That's really odd. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm killing you for your meat. I am sorry, I'm sorry, don't hit the baby. Don't hit the baby. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your mom. Um, she will be remembered a little bit. Oh god. Oops. You guys, um, father and son will have to make babies. Awkward. Okay. Or the, is that coal? Okay. That was really weird. I've never been attacked by a, uh, 
witch that way before, just like out of nowhere. Does that mean I'm by a swamp and there's like a witch hut or something? I don't know. But that is super, like, I can't even emphasize as much, like, how crazy that is. That's never happened to me. In fact, I've never seen it happen to anyone else either, so. Okay, we have tons of string. There's, we should go ahead and make a fishing rod and get our, most of our food that way. I've just decided. That seems to be the smartest plan of action since we cannot seem to find a stable food source that we can get all our food from. We will be making automatic farms in the future. Pumpkin pie farms, I'm really looking forward to those. Also getting some of the um, just automatic wheat, well not semi-automatic wheat farms, you have to plant all your stuff, but just pull a lever and it all goes down to you and to your feet, it's pretty awesome. So I cannot wait for that and uh, everything that's coming um, soon, so let's go ahead and those, take the sticks, string, and believe it's like this. No? Two string? Yeah, two string, okay. Let's go ahead and put our extra stuff away and let's go fishing. This will be quite nice. Just fishing out here, getting some fish. Some fish. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. There we go, a bit closer. Sit, get our feet in the water, get all comfortable. Hopefully catch some nice fish and possibly make some sushi. Oh yes, yeah, sushi. Ah. <laughs> I'll see you guys when we start catching some fish. <laughs> 